Enjoy the match with Antonio versus Aulard. So enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks very much. Here now at the pitch opening by the great Nulligar in. Uh, uh, profiled in the book, but uh, we were confined to 101 or 105 pages, so we had to profile Noel there within a page, which is not possible. Uh, Noel, it must be a great source of satisfaction to you today to open the facilities. Absolutely brilliant name. There's not like him anywhere, I think, and it's fair play to the people in the town and people in the area for some more than hope to put those facilities where they are. Uh, it must be a great uh, source of enjoyment, let's say, to see the underage to where it is now. Uh, you, you proposed and started the underage uh, section of the club, uh, which is flourishing at the minute under the great Mick Keogh. Uh, it must be a great source of enjoyment to, to see him on that committee there and see what's going on there now. Well, sure. Like in my early years, and it was only nearly, nearly, it wasn't uh, I think what it is now. And I think under the leadership of both Noah Jean, Lord Mercy on him, and Mick at the moment, it absolutely is thriving and absolutely brilliant. Um, the club has gone from strength to strength, all in uh, underage, uh, overage, side age, every age you take it. Uh, We've definitely, um, under various chairmen, uh, moved on, let's say, in professionalism. Um, uh, what would you say? Uh, what is that big word they're using there? Openness there where everything is accountable uh, and all that. The club has really moved on leaps and bounds. Definitely, the name. I remember when I joined the committee first, uh, probably under the chairmanship of Peter Kelly. Uh, like, was a good chairman any time, but I think as things moved on, professionalism was coming to us in a big way. And if you're not professional, now we are lost. And certainly with the chairman we've had in the last couple of years, absolutely. Everything is accountable for and the books are done right and there's everything is done. I'm not saying that they weren't done right before, but uh, I think it's completely a professional job. It's nearly a, job, nearly a paid job at the moment. Thank you very much, Noel. Uh, your work there in the week uh, at the opening, your, uh, your work any time, I appreciate it, but uh, it was nearly a 24-hour job there in the last week. Yeah, well, sure. I'm lucky with the job I have been flexy at times, but... Uh, I'd like to thank you. Lady, will you I was just going to say I'd like to thank the Brisbane School for sticking with it for a couple of weeks and, and uh, a special word of thanks to everybody that helped and I'm talking about everybody because I won't mention names, I'm surely there about someone. So to everybody that worked during the week, well done or the four or three weeks, whatever it was, and that was it. You wouldn't know on your own if you hadn't led to back you up. So I was the community spirit for the week was sort of far and not saying it's not always, but in the last part it's unbelievable. Thank you very much, Noel. Thanks. Lee. It's a balanced straw here, two slightly different men. Uh, if you take texture wise, um, there's about three of Martin in header. Impertance wise, is about three times as well. Uh, ability wise, 
maybe a bit there as well. Okay, so we're taking it from there. Uh, what do you think of the facilities today, Pat? I think they're absolutely brilliant. I think possibly they could have got someone, someone maybe like Liam Spratt or someone to do the interviews, but you can't get everything right on the day. But to get back, uh, to get back to what you asked me, I think the facilities are absolutely brilliant, and I'm glad to be back involved again, Liam, after such a while. But th there's no pitches in the county worth being around. It could be this year. No pitches in the county like him. It's a credit to you. Uh, on the issue of Spratt, Spratt has the blue flu, so uh, we had to step in the subs there. Glass lack and FM. Martin uh, now living in Kilkenny, helped Dixborough to win. County final in '93 and two senior football, uh, two footballs titles as well. Martin, am I right there? Yes. Yeah, never wrong, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't really register that. Uh, yeah. Highly in Kilkenny. Yeah. Anyway. Few shots out in the lower field. I did. Uh, I did mention that to our ultra on uh, Mr. Nicky Brennan there, and he said he's addressing the situation in in uh, in Kilkenny. Martin, that must be great to come back. Uh, come back and see the facilities. Uh, you're like myself. You're training. Kyo's bog, Hendrix bog, Pat Cabinet's inch, uh, and we right. were damn glad to have him. We came up here then and we, in 85, 28th of April 85, we opened this facility here. Uh, it was a great facility, top of the range at the time. Wasn't long getting outdated, and uh, now we are back to uh, open the new pitch here today, 14th of May 2006. It must be a great feeling. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I wasn't involved with the borough two years ago, and they came down here to play Ullard in a hurling match. And I know when the lads went back to Dixborough or whatever, back to Kilkenny, they couldn't stop talking about the place here. The facilities and the pitches, it's like a bowling green or whatever. So, it's fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Uh, a lot of hard work on in by a lot of people, uh, but the facility is second to none. We're proposing a new development here, a uh, uh, complex here, to try and match the pitches uh, sometime in the future. So our incoming chairman, whoever he is, uh, will uh, be taking that task on board and sure maybe he'll be down again. Um, Pat, on the issue of our intermediate hurlers, uh, how do you feel we're doing? Going well so far, Liam, sure. You have to be in there a good few of the games. We, we hurled the practice last night. We're one or two injuries. Your own Neil is, is a big injury problem at the moment. He probably would have been starting a half hour if he was right. He's a grind strain. Other than that, Matty Byrne is a bit of a bit of an injury, but sure, you know yourself, you hurled there against Askamore before. It'll be all down to what will happen in Gory next Saturday night. Eh? But the preparations to answer the, the immediate question, preparations are going well. And the lads are trying. They're trying to play a bit of a different brand of hurling. Ball coming out here, you're out of half backs, and it's easier for forwards to play. And um, sure, we still have Colm Cowd, our full back, which is a blend of experience. And we have young lads starting to uh, make their debut. Young Miley Connors, Kevin Dunn are looking like going to make their intermediate hurling debut. Unlike other years, uh, let's say when myself and the two years were hurling there, uh, we had a couple of hurlers and then we had a rake of strugglers like myself. Uh, the, the thing, since we're after turning a bit, the strugglers are gone scarcer and the hurlers are gone more plenty, I'm glad to say. Well, uh, I, I don't know, but but some of what you call the, the strugglers or the stragglers or whatever you want to call them made up for it in other ways. And some of the we were both. Yeah, what? <laughs> we were what? We were both strugglers and stragglers. Yeah, well, well whatever. But I, I mean to say, every everyone, no Liam, as you know, again now in fairness, everyone that goes out over the line, uh, if they don't give a hundred percent, it doesn't matter. As you know, at, at the moment we we've lovely, we've five or six top class hurlers, but we still have not not stragglers by no means. We have fifteen good hurlers, we have twenty good hurlers, twenty one good hurlers actually. But the, the, they're all good in different ways at the same time. And if they don't, if they're not committed when they go across the line, it doesn't matter the goddamn how good they are. You have to, you know yourself, when it's out there, it has to be one and that's it. Uh, the last couple of years, the, the, the thing didn't go well for Noel. The last couple of years, uh, as he said, he got he got a very young team uh, and maybe they just weren't, uh, they didn't adjust uh, coming from underage to uh, to intermediate. He didn't get on well with them. Uh, we struggled and were nearly relegated. I just feel the thing is going just a bit better for us in regards of the senior football train and the intermediate train. There's more bite, more vigour in it and maybe the lads have just... Uh, just realise, let's say, that it's just not going to happen. They have to make it happen themselves. Yeah, well, that's true. I, do, I, do, I agree entirely. And you know from on the rail structure coming up along, a lot of these lads, it, it's the first time I remember when I was with Martin in Dixborough. I used to follow the games and the big talk in Dixborough. A lot of them lads used to have all Ireland medals. Martin was the only one possibly in the Dixborough that hadn't a minor medal. With. But I see in our dressing room now there's only one fellow that hasn't a um, um, county medal, and that's John Paul. Everyone else in our, in our panel has either an under-21, a minor, an intermediate county medal, which never, ever happened in a, in a team 
seen going out, out here before. And just before I leave, I just see Peter coming in there beside you. I'd like to just, uh, we've done fuck all, or nothing yet. Sorry about the language. We've done all nothing right. yet. Beep. We, yeah, we've done nothing yet. We have a lot to do, as, as John Brown's crowd used to say one time. But I'd like to just recognise the three fellas that are, that are doing the job with me. And that's Andy, Peter and Dennis Kelly. And they've never missed a night since we've took over. We've never missed anything, neither of the three. And I'd just like to acknowledge them. They're the three boys that know the good bit about it. Very talkative, very knowledgeable people. Uh, Pat and Martin, thank you very much. And delighted to see that your mother has improved and got over a little bit better last week. Thank you very much, lads. Thank you.